out a hundred dollars off that, so that helped us out a lot. Did you ever find out if you were going to have hoodies? Yes, we can get hoodies now. I'm going through it tops. So if you want to get a hoodie or something like that, you can put it in an order. I'm not sure exactly the price on them, but I'm going to start taking orders for hoodies and stuff and get them probably by the end of next month. Are they going to be exactly the same, black and Exactly the same, black, IPS, and the other one in the back. With no name. No name. And unless you want to pay $5 extra, then I, they can put the name on. Can, can one person do that? I mean, if only one person wants yeah. it? Yeah. Just one person that says $5 more per shirt. And where, where did you say it through? Uh, it's tops. And then the block it. Buy it off of 4th Street or something. Like I said, it was four hundred, like four hundred and forty bucks or so that we had to pay to get these shirts. Um, we got like thirty six or thirty five of them. Um, we had to pay an uh, artist fee and we had to pay. Uh, Hi. Uh, we had to pay artist fee and we had to pay for uh, the stencils, the the designs. So that won't be in any more of our bills. We said they're going to keep all that for us. What art? Huh? <laughs> what art? Well, they, instead of that art, I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so that's up with the shirts. So yes, we do have shirts. So if anybody wants them, let's <coughs> them get them. Uh, anything else with uh, Treasury Report? I took a few, some of the money out that people had paid into our Treasury for the um, Mansfield trip. The trip is on. The date for that is going to be August 30th. That is a Saturday night. Um, It'll be a Saturday night to Sunday morning. We are going to be carpooling down. I believe there's seven of us now going. Uh, so it'll be two carloads worth of people. Um, if you still want to go, you can still get in. They still have room tickets in it. You can buy and get into it. That it, The cost is $50. That's going to include uh, your overnight stay at the prison, uh, pizza, dinner, and pop while you're there. Uh, what they said is, you go whenever they have the pizza, it normally gets there about 11 o'clock, midnight. They have a set time. You want to get in there and get the pizza quick because they say it goes fast. Can you people. bring? You can bring snacks, you can bring whatever you want in there. Eat. Yeah. Okay. Bring all that stuff in there. I don't be eating all night. Or I'll sleep. I eat all sleep. Since I don't smoke, I eat all sleep. Okay. Well, you need to start smoking here. Search, I believe it's mrps.com or .org. Uh, I was going to print out the paperwork today, but for some reason today their website is down. So I couldn't get any of the copies of the forms for us. Um, if nothing else, I can bring them in at next month's meeting and we can do it then and try to get you know, anybody that, you know, that's missing. we got plenty of time. It's not until August. So that's <coughs> what we can do the, for them. the money's in there. Our spot is reserved, so we do have that spot reserved for us. PR report, um, we are doing a documentary with some Notre Dame college students. Uh, they were here at last month's meeting, they did some taping. I believe they wanted to come out again today, but with the library mix-up, they got turned around. Um, what we're going to be doing for that is next, or in two weeks, it's going to be the 29th of this month, the Saturday. We're going to be meeting at the library in Mishawaka, downtown Mishawaka. Um, I believe it's going to be called the Friendly Room or something like that. It's down in the basement area. I'll get more information for you. I know the email I sent out said that we're actually going to be meeting at this library, but that's wrong. This library is going to be shutting down in two weeks or doing renovations. They couldn't have us in here. So, like I said, it's going to be the Mishawaka one downtown, the Friendly Room, I believe. I'll get the email sent out to everybody letting them know. Uh, we want as many people as we can to come out for this. I mean, this is, it's uh, the last Saturday of this month, the 29th. Um, we're doing this in, it's a joint effort between us and uh, the Michiana Paranormal Society. Um, both, both groups are going to be there, both groups are going to be doing it. They're going to be filming a documentary which is going to be shown for their uh, class. It's all going to be based on Primrose over in South Bend, Primrose Road. So what we're going to do is we're going to meet there at the library probably around 2 or 3 o'clock. They're going to take for a couple hours in there us talking about Primrose, the legends, what we've heard. Uh, the different stuff about the hauntings, uh, what a haunting could be, you know, 
our ideas, our theories, stuff like that on it. Um, everybody's welcome to come out. You can, you know, whatever theories you have, whatever stories you've heard, they want to hear it. Um, once we get done there, we'll probably go out and get a quick dinner, and then we're actually going to head up to Primrose and do an investigation out there and have them take that too. Um, like I said, the more people we can get, the better. They want a huge turnout. So, like I said, with two groups, and I invited Knights along and a few other people, so we're going to try to get as many as we can get. Uh, that's on it. Uh, I believe we're going to set up like 3 o'clock, I'm thinking. Start at 3, or maybe 4. Let's go at 4 then. We'll set it up from 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock at the library, and that's when the meeting will be. Um, we'll go to dinner after that, somewhere local, and then we'll head out to Primrose and do the investigation out there for them. If you don't want to be on camera, you don't want to be videotaped, that's fine. Still come out. Uh, wear a hoodie, wear something like that. You know, we can always, they can blur your face out if you need to be. You know, we're not picky. We just, you know, want bodies out there so, you know, we look good. We don't want to go out there with two or three people. You know? They have papers assigned, too. That yes. If yeah, you papers. don't want to be photographed, they can, it says on there that they can blow your face out. So just sign that and do that. So that's good for everybody there. You don't have to be on camera. You don't have to talk or nothing if you don't want to. You know, they don't, they don't force you to do anything. Like I said, t-shirts are in. We've got plenty of them back here, so if anybody wants them, make sure you let me know. Um, Hometown Haunts, uh, that's our internet TV show. Um, what we're going to be doing is, uh, it's probably going to be every month or every month and a half, or every twice a month or once a month. Uh, I'll be posting up a new episode on there. Uh, we're getting kind of low. I think i got two or three episodes left now taped. So we're going to need to set up a time. we going to do another one at your house or something where we're going to get together. Because that, that seemed to work out best. I mean, we got, I think, what, three or four episodes that night taped. He used to be calling them one minute to get here. No, they're still coming. Yours coming up this week, tonight. Yes, the, the return of Ghost Boy will be tonight on Hometown Haunts. So he is coming back tonight. Um, we'll set up a date. I'll talk to you later on day for dinner or whatever. We'll figure out when we're going right. to do that. And I'll get that out to everybody. They're coming along great. Um, I believe the next one's going to be yours. And then the next one after that, I think, is yours. It's going to go up on how we're going to go on air. Uh, you did a very good one. I love that one that we did. I mean, it, that, yeah. went, that went a long time. A lot of information, a lot of good stories and That's stuff that was on. Funny. You were here with me? Yeah, last night. <laughs> <laughs> when Notre Dame was here? Was it, yeah. When you relaxed were like too morning? much. <laughs> Sure, you <laughs> just switched over. Um, so it must have just rolled right into it. <laughs> well, we were just talking, and the next thing I knew, he was filming, so I just kept talking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah at, at anytime you see you the said, camera set up, 99% of the time, it's recording. <laughs> at the beginning, you said, you may have to ask me a bunch of questions, but I'm always saying. If you guys got, got, a word in this <laughs> <laughs> if you guys got any ideas for subjects or topics yes. for it, or if you want to be on it, if you want to be on it, you're more than welcome to show up anytime. Yeah, we need people meeting. to help out and help. I think okay. it would be cool. I want to do it, okay? Yes, yeah, she does. <laughs> that's, that's fine. fine. That last time we did it at my house, we had a blast. Oh, we yeah. were there for a good six would hours we screwing some off. some of the, <laughs> the graves in the city cemetery and showcase that uh, maybe in July or August for... Maybe do that in like some... Uh, September or something, then have it for our tours or whatever. Yeah. Do it like a feature of that and say, you know, we're going to have more on the tour. So, yeah, that's a good idea. We can do some, something like that. Um, but, yeah, anybody that wants to be on it can be on it. It's very laid back. It's very low key. It's like, you know, public access. <coughs> we set up the camera, we sit and just talk, you know. Joke around, goof around, and we have a good time doing it. So, I'll get the dates out for that and the address we where we'll be. Oh, yeah. Always good food, too. Now, nobody said that there was food. Oh, there was food. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's I, a given. I had two crockpots going. I had two crockpots going. Oh, yeah. Really? Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It was great. Ghosty Boy was there. <laughs> toasty Boy. <laughs> well, we can be pretty toasty next time. We can break we'll out. We'll break alcohol, too. It's going to be alcohol next time. There's alcohol. There's blender. Oh, yeah. I like red wine. <laughs> Um, next up, <laughs> <laughs> July 10th and 12th, I believe is what they said, the bad keys. Um, the homecoming in Elkhart. Uh, forget Bristol. Bristol. <coughs> yeah, Bristol homecoming. 
Um, they invited us out. What they're going to do, they're going to post on the website. They, they get a table or a little booth area set up every year. And what they're going to do is they're going to post on the website <coughs> and they're going to be there. And any time they're there, we're going to be allowed to come out there and set up a table next to them and, you know, sell our T-shirts, do uh, tarot card readings if we want to, anything we want to do to make money. Um, we're going to try to make some dowsing rods, some pendulums, stuff like that, just to, you know, get some extra cash for the group, whatever, be a little fundraiser for us. Uh, have our business cards, our t-shirts and stuff out there. It's a great way to get out in the community. Um, the other group that we used to be a part of, I remember they did uh, one of the big festivals up towards Chicago. They got over 500 new members in one day. Paid members. Like 20 bucks a pop. Um, they ended up buying like six, six to eight laptops, 